In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And good morning to you all. You're very welcome, and I welcome also those who join us virtually via our parish radio and webcam, Facebook Live, and Shalom World. We come together around the altar to be nourished by Word and Eucharist. And indeed, in the gospel today, we have very encouraging invitation from Jesus. Come to me, you who labor and are overburdened, and you will find rest, for I am gentle and humble in heart. We're privileged to be in his presence as we gather to celebrate this Mass. Let us remember our need for God's love, compassion, and forgiveness in our lives. As I confess to Almighty God and to you, you, my my brothers brothers and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly greatly sinned sinned in my my thoughts and in my words, in what what I have have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask, ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and And on earth earth, peace peace to his people people of goodwill. goodwill. We We praise praise you, we bless bless you, we adore adore you, we we glorify you. We give you thanks thanks for your great great glory. glory. Lord Lord God, God, heavenly Heavenly King, King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Lord Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Zechariah. The Lord says this, 
Rejoice, heart and soul, daughter of Zion. Shout with gladness, daughter of Jerusalem. See now, your king comes to you. He is victorious. He is triumphant, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He will banish chariots from Ephraim and horses from Jerusalem. The bow of war will be banished. He will proclaim peace for the nations. His empire shall stretch from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. <coughs> your, <coughs> excuse me. Your interests are not in the unspiritual, but in the spiritual, since the Spirit of God has made his home in you. In fact, unless you possessed the Spirit of Christ, you would not belong to him. And if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, then he who raised Jesus from the dead will give life to your own mortal bodies through his spirit living in you. So then, my brothers, there is no necessity for us to obey our unspiritual selves or to live unspiritual lives. If you do live in that way, you are doomed to die. But if, by the spirit, you put an end to the misdeeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father. Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father. 
and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> Stress is recognized as a major health issue. Stress symptoms can affect our bodies, our thoughts, our feelings, and our behavior. Health experts tell us that stress left unchecked can contribute to many health problems, high blood pressure, heart disease, obesity, diabetes, and have a real negative consequence for us. That's why I think the invitation contained in this morning's gospel is not only of spiritual value to us, but can be of immense practical help. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. It's part of a larger package, pa passage where Jesus is addressing the crowds, and he concludes by inviting us, who are sometimes weary and overburdened, to find solace and peace in him. It is a message of comfort and relief, especially when we are sometimes weighed down by the inevitable struggles and challenges and tolls which are part of our life. It reassures us that we are loved as individuals by God. And Jesus offers rest and spiritual rejuvenation to us, you will find rest, for I am gentle and humble in heart. I'm reminded of Pope St. John the Twenty-Third during the very stressful days for him of the Second Vatican Council, which he called as he attempted to open up the Church to the realities of a changing world. He was over 80 years of age, when the council opened. But his prayer every night was, Lord Jesus, I'm going to bed. It's your church. You take care of it. Submitting his anxieties to him, but also expressing that great faith that Jesus Christ is a personal friend to each of us. This man of faith knew that Jesus' invitation to find solace in him was a real invitation, and he took him at his word. Oh, to have that faith and close relationship with Jesus, to be able, at times of adversity, to take his wonderful invitation at face value. Then we can truly face and cope with whatever difficulties and disasters that life throws at us. And we know they can be substantial and seemingly overwhelming at times. But that is the invitation of Jesus. We pray that we may have the faith and trust in him to know that that invitation is addressed to me. And that Jesus' invitation will help us to know, in the words of Julian of Norwich, that no matter what troubles or burdens come our way, that all will be well, because we are indeed beloved children of God. And Jesus has asked us to come to him, especially to come to him when we are weary, 
stressed out and overburdened. And he has guaranteed us we will find rest. And we accept that invitation of Jesus to come to him as we place our needs, our prayers, the prayers of the world, and our own individual prayers in the loving care of Almighty God. In today's Gospel, Jesus sends out an invitation to all of us who are overburdened and tells us he is always there for us. We pray that in our moments of trouble, worry or despair, we remember he is there for us and seek his help in prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. In today's reading, St. Paul reminds us that in baptism, the Spirit of God has made a home in us. We pray that we be always mindful that the Father resides in us, so that in every word and action we seek to carry out his holy will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who have lost loved ones in the past week, particularly cherished children, that they may be comforted by the words of Christ, that they will find rest for their souls with him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who are sick, both at home and in hospital, that our loving and generous Father look down on them with compassion and give them relief in their illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who work in our health service, that they be rewarded for the care and love they bestow on the sick and the dying. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We take a few moments as we place our own particular prayer before Almighty God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all who have asked us to pray for them. We think especially of the sick in our hospitals and nursing homes and those who join us via a virtual means. We ask the Lord to reassure all who are most in need of his love, of his invitation, come to me, you who labor and are overburdened. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And our prayers are asked for the happy repose of the soul of Michael Mick King of Five Green Road, whose requiem is celebrated here during the week. We pray for all whose anniversaries occur. Michael and Mary Morn, formerly of Amor Place, and all the deceased members of the Morn family. For Sean Ballard in Penarth in South Wales, and for Louis Angnello Rodriguez, Anna Joaquina and Catiana Rodriguez, Philip and Lily de Souza and Theo de Souza, Rufino de Souza, Aurora and Hippolyta de Souza, Pedro and Silverosa Alfonso, Mr and Mrs Faraz, Ansi and Cesar de Souza, Peter Fernandez, Joe de Souza and Cookie and the deceased members of the Rodriguez family, from Myra Gorgeo and Rudy Norona, for Rosario and Maria Josefina da Silva, Marian and Savio Fernandez, Celestine and Victoria Fernandez, Sebastian Castana, Geo and Maria Rodriguez, <coughs> Annie and Antu Fernandez. May their souls and the souls of all, all the, the faithful, faithful departed, departed through the mercy, the mercy of God, God rest in, in peace. peace. Almighty God, help us to remember your son's invitation to come to him in our difficulties and struggles as we place these prayers before you through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the mysterious deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy 
and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your <coughs> kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. St. Paul tells us that the Spirit of God lives within each of us, and it is that Spirit of God that enables us to call God Father. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us indicate to one another a sign of that peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. Together with all joining us through Parish Radio, Webcam, Facebook Live and Shalom World, we pray the Anima Christi in an act of spiritual communion. 
Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malignant enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come unto thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Spirit lead. 
and let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And I'd ask you please take a copy of the link up which from Mass. It contains all the notices for the week and the cover of our link up indeed uh, supplied by the Tidy, Tidy Towns Committee. And we are indeed grateful to all who work uh, on that committee and indeed who work with them <coughs> in helping to keep our town looking so well. Mass times for the coming week, as usual, Monday to Friday, half seven and 10 a.m., and on Saturday at 10 a.m. I thank all of you for being with us here this morning around the altar, and I thank those who joined us virtually. I thank our ministers of Word and Eucharist, our steward Tommy. Uh, I thank Eugene, who acted as deacon this morning. Thank you very much. And Sarah, who enriched our celebration with her music and song. May you have a good week, and may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Jesus, I invite you into my life this day. Please help me to understand the plan you have for me. Help me to see you, Lord Jesus, in every human being who I meet this day. Help me always to be humble and to show humility at all times. Help me, Lord Jesus, to become the person you want me to be. Jesus, I trust in you. No matter what you are going through, fear not, God can deliver you. Be assured that we are always there to pray for you. Submit your prayer requests at swprayer.org. Call us 